polygoners. This is going to be the beginning of a multi-part series that is really aimed at the influx of new viewers that are going to be coming from the free to play players coming into the scene. This is to help them get caught up with basics like settings, mechanics like control groups, camera hotkeys, boxing hotkeys, all those basics that we kind of take for granted. I've noticed that there's not really that many resources out there for someone who's just opened up and unboxed the game or in this case downloaded it for free so that's what these are going to be about so if you're like a really new player this is aimed for you and if you're an experienced player but just want to see some other perspectives or are looking for something for a friend please feel free to forward this video along to anyone you meet that you think needs it so this video is mostly going to focus on basic settings settings that are really so crucial that for a new player, it's almost a requirement. Some of these are obvious, like the build grid, which for newer players, that's going to basically show you what a full wall in is. So if you're like Terran or Protoss and you're gonna be walling in your base, this is really crucial information and it's gonna help you learn a lot faster. So these are actually my settings. And while some of these I would recommend for a newer player, there's some that I use myself and I think you should perhaps change. This is really useful because a lot of newer players won't realize that it's some mineral patches require 16, some require eight. A lot of these newer maps have varying numbers of mineral patches, so this is just really useful in all cases. I really like this. It just kind of shows like a red mark when you're doing an attack move, a green mark when you're right clicking. It's just good feedback on what commands you're actually ordering. Enable enemy unit selection is huge. You definitely need to be able to click an enemy unit in order to see the upgrades. And if he's got like an armor upgrade, you need to know about that. So if you can't click it, you can't know. And that's very, very important information. Always make sure this is turned on. Show unit life bars. I like damaged. It's really great for casting, but really for new players always is going to be the way to go because of how energy bars are treated with damage. They kind of disappear when they're completely full. Always is probably the best way to go early on. And then once you're used to uh, this, maybe give damage to try. Control groups, normal, that's preference. Unclickables, usually preferred. And then always show flyer helper. So this will help you when you're trying to target a flying unit with like an AOE spell or something, it's gonna show you whether or not the units are actually within range. Other useful information is going to revolve around your mouse control. Your mouse precision is actually one of the most important things in StarCraft. You would much rather adjust your precision using your hardware, which is your DPI or CPI settings. CPI is the more accurate term. Most mouse companies still issue like their numbers in DPI. It's interchangeable. It's the same thing. So what we want to do is set your mouse sensitivity. You want to make sure this is checked and set it anywhere from 51 to 54%. Essentially, that's kind of like a middle ground it's like a default set never use this mouse scroll you sh that's like when you move your mouse over here whether it scrolls the screen you should never be doing that anyway if you're using that method of moving your screen uh, make sure you're sticking uh, to watching this channel because we're gonna have a couple of videos on better methods of controlling the camera uh, none of this really matters this is all personal preference it's really this mouse sensitivity that matters thanks for tuning in guys hopefully these settings will make your Starcraft experience that much more enjoyable a lot of the other settings in the menu just are really personal preference how loud you have your sound I actually like you know the uh, Starcraft Brood War music over the Starcraft 2 music you can actually choose to play both there's all kinds of options in there it's worth exploring but these are the items that I think every new player should be aware of and be working to experiment with and will help your game progress even further by the way I do want to apologize about the uh, bad green screening a little bit um, my lighting's not quite right in this video I need to buy some bulbs but they don't sell them at the Walmart near me and it requires a little bit of travel so I might just order those online thanks so much for tuning in if you like this content make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to help support our future projects please become a patron link in the description and as always guys thanks for watching Chatelet my dudes 
If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.